More than 4 million people are without power in Texas while temperatures hit record lows and power companies are trying to keep up with demand. KPVI News that works for you journalist Julian Paras tells us how tells us more on how Idaho differs from what's happening now and what you should consider if you find yourself in a severe power outage situation. So our hearts and, and our, our thoughts and prayers are to the people in that area. With hundreds of thousands without power in Texas, Matt Stuckey with Idaho Power expanded on how the state could respond to power outages during the winter months. You know, we do have, you know, occasional outages, um, but most of those outages are resolved within under two hours. Factors to consider without regular heating systems working are food and water, but also be aware of your surroundings. And whether it's, you know, snow buildup on trees and, and tree limbs falling on a branch, uh, high winds. In a situation like the power outages happening in Texas, Stuckey says it's unique to the area. Idaho is a state where the unexpected has been seen before, says Stuckey. Every situation is unique. Texas is unique. You know, what I can speak for is, is Idaho and and, you know, we've been providing services in Idaho, Idaho for decades, for years and years, Idaho Power has. With the climate the state foregoes, Stuckey says it helps them to be better equipped without a severe outage taking place. We get a little bit of everything here. And, uh, you know, that experience helps us um, as, as we go forward. However, that does not mean that an individual or place should not be prepared. Stuckey says it's crucial to be ready in case the worst does happen. We always say, you know, that nothing could ever happen, but, you know, you're seeing in Texas, they probably didn't think anything could happen there as well. And so it's important to, to always be prepared for the worst. Finding reliable sources of heat, such as blankets or generators to produce extra energy, are also handy to have on hand, according to Stuckey. In Pocatello, I'm Julian Paras, KPVI News. That works for you. Stuckey added that relying on sources of heat such as cars and trucks should not be utilized since it could lead to carbon monoxide poisoning.